Right, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Aaron Lewis. I'm uh, the country manager for Leonardo Company. We're very proud to be here at uh, Seoul Adex 2019 to share with you some of the products that we are uh, operating here in the Republic of Korea. Leonardo is a, uh, a major uh, aerospace and defense company. Uh, we've been supplying products and partnering with companies in Korea since the late 1970s and uh, we're looking forward to continuing that relationship for the next 30 years and beyond. I'd just like to show you some of the products that we're specifically marketing uh, at this year's ADEX, uh, starting with the helicopter products. Many of your uh, viewers will be very familiar with our AW159 Wildcat product, which is currently in operation by the ROC Navy. Uh, it's an anti-submarine, anti-surface warfare helicopter, uh, and we are currently in the process of uh, bidding for 12 more helicopters uh, for the ROC Navy MOH Batch 2 requirement. Several features of the, of the aircraft I'd like to point out. First is the uh, Acer radar that the, uh, the helicopter carries. This Acer radar has now been in operation in Korea since 2016. Uh, it's providing an excellent uh, capability for the, the, the Navy, uh, in particularly in anti-surface warfare. Uh, contains a number of modes which are particularly uh, useful for the uh, Korean theatre of operations, um, including a, uh, a track bar scan mode and uh, moving target detection capabilities. The helicopter also carries uh, a, a long range uh, missile, the, uh, the Spike N loss missile, which is in operation by the uh, ROC Marine Corps and the ROC Navy today. Uh, from a torpedo perspective, the, the aircraft is fitted with the Blue Shark torpedo, which is a, a domestically produced weapon, and uh, we're very proud that through the in integration of that torpedo with this helicopter, we're now able to offer that Korean torpedo to our export customers for the AW 159, uh, which uh, is a great example of how we've been able to partner effectively with the Korean industry for export and mutual benefit. Just turning briefly to the, the, uh, the unmanned product you see here, this is the AW Hero. So this is our latest uh, unmanned aircraft. Uh, it's currently going through the final stages of military certification uh, with a, a military customer. Um, you know, unmanned vehicles are a, a feature of many of the exhibitors here at ADEX 2019. Um, we're proud that we've got a product which uh, is, is um, at, at a very advanced stage of development. Um, it's able to be fitted with uh, uh, radar and uh, EO devices and we're really looking for opportunities to work with Korean companies uh, to uh, either support them in the development of their own UAVs or to look for uh, mutual opportunities to exploit this technology here. We've brought with us to the show uh, a range of the um, airborne uh, avionics products that we, uh, we have in our portfolio. Um, Leonardo covers the complete range of, of uh, electronic uh, avionic systems, um, not just for airborne applications, but for uh, naval applications, for land-based vehicles, and for aircraft, both fixed wing and rotary wing. Um, that goes from communication systems through electronic warfare systems and through to radar systems. Um, one of the unique things of, of Leonardo's uh, electronics division is that we, we own the entire uh, supply chain. So we, in, we own the technology, we own the IPR, and we have the full capability to manufacture uh, all of these products. In terms of Korea, we have many years of successful relationships with a number of Korean uh, prime contractors in the defense and aerospace industry and we're continually looking for opportunities to expand that and uh, collaborate on either mutual development projects or uh, straightforward uh, export or build under license. We're very open to collaboration across the board. One of the products that's attracted uh, some attention recently in, uh, in Korea has been the, uh, the Bright Cloud Expendable uh, Decoy System. This is something that was uh, promoted quite widely here in Korea. As I say, although we've focused uh, at the show here today on the airborne systems, um, 
We're also very interested in the opportunities that exist here for the ground-based long-range radar requirements where we have products that are already in service with uh, NATO and uh, meet the requirements for Class 1 radar systems in NATO. So we have a whole range of products, we have a whole portfolio of products and we continue to seek opportunities to partner and collaborate with Korean industry to meet the needs of the Korean customers.